Oh, they didn't read the proposition. Voters cancel the war on police, Wall Street Journal. With crime surging in many cities, voters rejected the anti-police left this week. Minneapolis was the birthplace of the defund the police movement, but on Tuesday, more than 56% of voters rejected a proposal to abolish the police department. More than 56%? See, I want you to know how I read that, however. While obviously I'm happy about it, 44% of voters in Minneapolis voted to abolish the police department? That's how I read it. Nearly half of the people of Minneapolis are morons, are nihilistic fools. That's, that's sad. Nearly half of the people of Minneapolis believe that fewer police means less crime. Do you know how stupid you have to be? How do you become that stupid? So it's not a matter of brain matter. I believe everybody has... Not 99% of people have sufficient brain matter. How do you become that stupid that you would believe that fewer police means a safer city? It shows you how doctrine trumps reason. That's how. And leftism is a doctrine. So 56% of voters in Minneapolis voted to reject a proposal to abolish the police department means 44% of people in Minneapolis did. So there's almost a one in two chance, a 50-50 chance if you bump into someone in, in Minneapolis, you've bumped into an idiot. Tell me why that is not an appropriate term for somebody who votes to abolish the police department. They're not, you see, they're not an idiot in the sense that they lack brain matter. Their brain may be equal to mine or superior to mine. I have no issue with the, that possibility. It shows you, though, that brain matter is not what ultimately determines intelligence, ability to think clearly and to resist brainwash. You really think fewer people will die, will be murdered if there are fewer police? then you are an idiot. You are a dangerous idiot. 44% of the people of Minneapolis are dangerous idiots. That's a bad thing. This is not a matter of I'm seeing the glass half empty. I'm seeing the glass for what it is. 44% of the people of Minneapolis voted to abolish the police department. They voted for death. Get it? Murder, not just death, murder. They voted for theft. They voted for rape. Everyone who voted, the 44% of the people of Minneapolis who voted to abolish the police department voted for increase in rape. That's a scary thing, friends. Very scary. It's not 10%. It's not 20%. 44%. How does that happen? How many of them went to college? I bet a lot. You're here, Ryan, in Minneapolis. Hello. Hey, Dennis. I think you're being a little hard on Minneapolis right now. I think the measure was poorly, was very vague, poorly written. I don't think the 46% of people voting yes is strictly that they want to defund and abolish the place. I think they're still reeling from George Floyd. And I think that this one to see change, and I think that's where you get the yes vote. I don't think everybody's stupid in Minneapolis. I no, I don't think everybody is. I think 44% are. Okay, you have a more charitable view of the 44%. Uh, you think they're stupider than I do. They, they didn't understand the proposition. That's your defense of 44% of your fellow citizens. No, I, no, let me just I say, wait, 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 wait. Let me just say something. I crap on L.A. I was going to go under another aspect of the, of the public safety. Yeah, okay, all right, that, that's, that's your read of it. Okay, fair enough. Okay. It's not the Wall Street Journal's read. It's not anybody else's read but Ryan's. 
44% of your fellow citizens wanted to abolish the police as it now exists. They wanted to substitute some government agency. Okay? I don't understand why you defend people in Minneapolis because you live there. I don't defend L.A. from voting for uh, Eric uh, Garcetti. I don't defend L.A. for voting for Gascon, this despicable George Soros-funded district attorney. I didn't even root for the Dodgers when they were in the playoffs, and I said, why? I don't like my city. It's become a scummy place to live. I'm sorry to say it. I loved it when I came here. The left has ruined a great city called Los Angeles. If you can't acknowledge that about Minneapolis, I'm sorry. Unbelievable. People defend their city. I don't defend my city. I defend truth, decency, and goodness. That's what I defend. L.A. has been ruined by the left. San Francisco has been ruined by the left. Philadelphia has been ruined by the left. Everything in Philadelphia has been ruined by the left. It's, I will talk about Philadelphia later. It is astonishing, that city. It's astonishing. Not to mention New York. This is the problem, folks. People don't acknowledge how bad the left is. You know why? For my oldest insight, because evil is not dark. Evil is so bright, people can't face it. That's what it is. Oh, they didn't read the proposition. 44% of your fellow citizens are stupid and have voted for evil and death and rape. That's the fact in Minneapolis. And it would happen here, too. They voted for more death by voting for Gascon. I don't have any loyalty to Los Angeles. I have loyalty to values. I don't understand why anybody who calls himself a conservative, and I'm not saying Ryan does, I have no idea what my, my last caller's politics are. Maybe it's too painful to think that as you walk down the street of Minneapolis, there's a 4.4 4 in, 4 in 10 chance that the person you're passing is a dangerous fool. Yes, it's disturbing. You don't fix things if you don't follow what is happening. The first thing you do when you want to fix a disease is identify the disease. You go to a pathologist first, then you go to a doctor who can fix it, hopefully. You, are, you live in a pathological city, and so do I. Every city is pathological. This is from the biblical time to the present. Big cities are bad places. They got great culture, great finance, great restaurants, and despicable values. That's the nature of big cities. People are meaner in big cities than outside of big cities. People are stupider in big cities than outside of big cities. Okay? And Minneapolis is a big city, certainly for Minnesota. Well, you got me going, Ryan. I, I salute you. <laughs> uh, 